What's up everybody? It's Neil with iOS Softmodder. Today I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to to add an extra column on your home screen with applications. Now, before we start anything, you need a jailbroken device 4S or above if you're in terms of uh, iPhones and it needs to be running iOS 7 or higher. So now let's get started. When you jailbreak your phone, it's going to automatically install a Cydia, which is where you can access all the tweaks and mods. All right, so let's go open up Cydia, and you're going to search for Five Columns Springboard. So if you see down here, you can actually search and just type in Five Dash Column Space Springboard, and you're going to install that. After installing, it's actually going to place the setting. It's going to actually uh, place the option and the settings under your device's settings application. So scroll down all the way down. So right here, five column SB. And all we're going to do is enable it. Now your device will restart. All right. So now we have an extra column. So you're going to have to actually manually go through and... Uh, change this because I mean you're gonna have to actually drag these over here and set up your whole new format I know it's a pain in the butt I want to say ass but I ended up saying bass because I didn't want to say ass and I wanted to say butt instead all right so there you go you have an extra column it's pretty snug I mean some people will complain until the patch comes for um one of the tweaks that lets you uh, reformat and change the size of the actual icons, it's going to be a little snug. It's just overlapping a little bit. It looks like a, I don't know, like a set of cards. It doesn't bother me. I actually like it really dense like this. Um, if you have a uh, 5S or an iPhone 5, you're actually going to get, I don't know, what is it, 20 apps with this? No, nope. this adds just 4 to my already 12. Yeah, so I get 16, you're in a 5, you're going to get about 20, which is cool. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. Let me know what you think. If you have any issues, don't forget to subscribe to iOS Softmodder. Check out the full guide on there as well, and enjoy.